So what I have today for you is a quick video on how to pick Medicos. Um, this is a Medico Classic uh, plug and you can see that all six of the pins are installed and you can see the sidebar is right here. Um, so what I'm going to do, obviously most um, most other locks are pretty easy in just that you have to raise the pin up to that shear line. Well, we know that Medicos, you also must rotate the pin correctly. But what's not very easy to explain is how you go about that rotation. So what I'm going to attempt to do today is explain that and give you some ideas on how I do it. And hopefully with uh, the plug out of the the lock will be able to see that happening. So let's take a look. If the pick that I'm using is a slender Peterson gem, so I believe this is 18 thousandths thick, and it works nicely because you can uh, both lift and rotate pins with this guy pretty easily. So if I show you the keyway, um, what I want to do is turn my pick one way or the other. So in this case, we can turn it all the way about this far to the, the counterclockwise and about a little bit less far, a little bit more than, than straight up and down uh, to the to clockwise direction. So if you watch what happens here, we're gonna go ahead and find one of these um, uh, you can see, let's see, if I get it just right, you can see that first pin here, we can move it up and down easily because there's obviously no pin above it, and if I wiggle it side to side, you see here it moves, and that's because it's not bound up at all, so it, it's free to move left, right, and I, right now I'm pushing on the sidebar, so let's go ahead and find another one. This one right here is the third pin. So I'm going to release a little bit of sidebar tension. And you can see if I angle my pick this way to the left or counterclockwise, we can get it to rotate back. But let's say I put it straight up, you see the pick just rotated. So there I'm out of the lock actually. We, we don't have the Above pins to keep us from going too far or outside the lock. So you can see just based on putting my pick right underneath it and angling it one way versus the other way. Let's see if I can get it there again. So angling it to the left pushes that back and angling it over to the right. You can see there it just slides right up. And so that's what you do inside the lock. You gotta release sidebar tension uh, by releasing the core and then put your pick in. You give it a wiggle back and forth. Sometimes that gets into the right place. But if you really need to do it, you need to twist your pick. So left and right. And we're back on the lock again. A little hard to do this while looking at the camera screen and down, so. Let's see if we can get back on that third pin. So left and right. Left and right. There you go. That's all there really is to it. Um, you want to go one direction and then go the other. Of course, one complication is, if we take a look at this first pin here, uh, you can maybe see the false gate in there. And that false gate, when you got the sidebar pressing against that, makes it even more tough. Especially if it's your last pin. Let's just go ahead and get everything. See this one we got set in the false gate, and the false gate is just right there. If I lift this out even more, we'll be able to see it. Should be able to see it on the camera. So there's our false gate. There's our true gate just next to it. So if we're in that false gate, which we are right now, so you 
again if I can get focus. Releasing a sidebar tension a little bit, and as much as I twist my pick, nothing's really going to happen. So you really have to release all the sidebar tension and get it rocking back and forth, and eventually you get it in the right place. But when there's driver pins, there we go, and everything in place it makes it a little bit harder to know exactly where you are. So what I definitely suggest is not only taking a look at this video, but if you want to try to pick Medicos, take apart a core, preferably a lock like this guy here that has the, the um, hex pins on the top. That way you can take all these out, take all the pins out, and then go ahead and take the plug out and get looking at your lock and start to play with it. You're not going to have the exact same feeling of this without, without it, but you're just trying to get an idea of how your picks affect the rotation of these little pins. So, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope that it helps some of you guys defeat these Medicos. They're not really that difficult once you get the hang of it, but they do take extra time.